Hey everybody, welcome back to Jeff Bowles Central doing a gaming video for you today in praise of 2015's Mad Max. Mad Max, what is there to say about Mad Max? Well, uh, if, you're, if you're unfamiliar with the film franchise, although you really shouldn't be, especially at this point, <laughs> with, with movies like Furiosa having just come out this year. Furiosa was a great Mad Max movie, oh man. Uh, not quite as good as uh, Fury Road, which came out uh, almost 10 years ago now. Regardless, Mad Max is a post-apocalyptic world set in Australia. Lots of car-based shenanigans, lots of fisticuffs, lots of action and funny moments that are kind of awkward and typically Australian. Uh, what else is there to know about it? It used to star Mel Gibson. As, as the titular healer of Max, although this guy right here doesn't look much like Mel, nor does he particularly look like Tom Hardy, uh, who played him in, uh, in Fury Road. Regardless, this is the only real, honest to God, AAA Mad Max game in existence that I know of. Uh, as I said, it came out in 2015 on uh, PS4 and Xbox One. I'm playing the Xbox One version on Xbox Series X, uh, which is pretty cool because they added a 60 frames a second FPS boost uh, to the experience, which you don't get the benefits here in my video because I mix everything down to 30 frames a second anyway, but there you go. So I want to talk about this game because this game was not a very big hit. Uh, it was not super popular and the gaming media kind of slaughtered it in my opinion unfairly uh, when it came out. In fact, when it came out, I didn't play it right away uh, because the media kind of mishandled it and said it was uh, a less than inspired uh, uh, open world car-based action game. And uh, when I did play it, I kind of discovered about a year later, about 2016 now, uh, I discovered it's actually got more going for it than they said it did. Playing it again now in 2024, it still really holds up. Trust me, there's plenty of boring, fetch questy, same same, open world, shenanigans, nonsense to go around. This was the era of go here, do this. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure we've even left that area, uh, that era as as gamers. But what this game really does have going for it is it. It's first of all, it's fun. The, the cars move great. Uh, they have a really kind of like, they're fast. They're a little bit rocky. They're a little springy. They move over the sand really nice. There's kicks up all this beautiful sand behind them and you can get all sorts of upgrades. Kit out your car, make it super dangerous on the road. Then there's also the fisticuffs, which is actually Batman Arkham inspired. So that if you notice here watching this, Every time it, the Y appears above their head, I press Y and I'm able to guard and block and parry uh, and get back at them. And actually, if you play this right, just like in a Batman Arkham game, you never take a hit, which is fun. It's fun to play that. I miss that style of gameplay. I miss the Arkham style. Call me old fashioned, but I really, I really thought that, <laughs> you know, Rocksteady nailed it. And there were a lot of games like this one that took advantage of it and kind of copied it, frankly. Uh, the other really cool thing about this game, though, is its authenticity to Mad Max and the Mad Max world. And again, at this point, Mad Max has had five entries over, you know, 40 plus years. Um, and it's a very specific world with a very specific style, a specific sense of humor. Again, it's kind of testosterone-y, but there's also a lot of sweetness, unexpected sweetness too, especially in the, in the newer ones. You know, it, so, so it manages to capture the tone, which is not easy to do with George Miller's creation because George Miller, the writer-director of the Mad Max series, has a very specific thing that he does. Um, but it also, it's got enough fan service that, you know, people who, do love Mad Max, they'll they'll love little things like you know eating the eating the Dinky D uh, dog food, okay? That's right out of uh, uh, Road Warrior, uh, or uh, you know um, just some of the characters. The fact that you can uh, get your old uh, patrol jacket 
as a as a as a uh, cosmetic uh, that he wore in Mad Max. So point point is not going to go into too many details, but the point is is it really does feel uh, and look. If you look at this beautiful desert wasteland, it looks like a Mad Max movie. It feels like a Mad Max movie. They made sure to pay homage to Mad Max. Okay, you get it. Those are the benefits. Like I said, the, on the downside, it does tend to have a lot of same Sammy, especially the longer you play it. But the cool thing is, is that the cosmetics and the upgrades and the leveling, because Max can be leveled with new abilities and stuff, um, it's all really on point. No microtransactions, thank God, even though those probably wouldn't be valid now, almost 10 years later anyway. Um, but that's it. You know, it's, it's a great action game, great car game. It's beautiful. Even almost 10 years later, it's still really nice to look at. Look at. It performs very well as a piece of uh, a franchise, uh, <laughs> franchise art. And so why didn't they like this game back in 2015? There's two reasons that I found. And the first one is that uh, Mad Max Fury Road had just come out. And Mad Max Fury Road is a different kind of Mad Max movie. This game is more uh, in common with the first three Mad Max films from the 80s. Whereas Fury Road was more colorful. Uh, the ideas were bolder. Uh, the CG, because we had CG, it was this beautiful mix of very realistic, very colorful CG and practical car uh, effects and stunts. Uh, so the game critics of the time noted that it wasn't as bold and colorful uh, as Fury Road, and they knocked it. I remember specifically that IGN, I, I, I get usually my reviews from IGN for stuff I want to buy, they gave it an 8 or an 8.1 because they had a, a, a larger system back then. Uh, they gave it a decent score, but they, they, they pointed out that it wasn't as colorful, and fans at the time said it wasn't it's not as cool as Mad Max Fury Road. So. I guess that's valid in the sense that it doesn't look like the latest greatest thing, but it looks like the classic thing enough. Uh, I find that somewhat invalid. To me, as a fan of Mad Max, a pseudo fan of Mad Max, it hits all the right buttons for me. So I can only really offer my opinion on that. The second thing I found uh, that people didn't like at the time, uh, or that critics uh, kind of pushed it out against, it came out against Metal Gear Solid V. Metal Gear Solid 5 was a huge game. It was a wonderful game. Um, and so I feel like, I feel like, and this is an opinion that's been expressed elsewhere on the internet, so I'm not the Lone Ranger, okay. Uh, because it was against Metal Gear Solid 5 and because it was against Mad Max Fury Road, it had too much uh, internal uh, mental competition for people. This is my theory, take it or leave it. And it just didn't get loved. It didn't get loved on enough. And it really should have gotten loved on more. So this is, that's it, that's my video. In praise of Mad Max. If you haven't ever played this game, you really ought to give it a shot. Uh, it still holds up. It's still really nice to look at, even though it's nine years old. Okay, that's it. All right, everybody, do me a favor. Like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell, do a little dance, drink a little water and uh, relax, because that sounds ex exhausting. Once or twice, not to see no 